Oliver knows best. It had been another busy day on the Little Western branch line. Duck was returning to the sheds after a hard day's work. Evening, you two. How was your day? Hey, it was alright. I had to take a large load of pipes to Callan. What's he going on about now? I can't tell. Neither can I. But if Toad's fed up with it, chances are we're going to be as well. <sighs> um, so what's got you wee boiler bubbling laddie? Oh, have you not heard? Well, if we did, then we wouldn't be asking, would we? Well, since you asked. There were some runaway trucks down at the docks. They came very close to running into Porter, but I raced in and stopped them before they could cause any damage. The fat controller was there and witnessed the whole thing. He said he was very proud and that I made the best choice in the face of danger. Well done, Oliver. That was certainly the Great Western way of being. Being Great Western had nothing to do with it, Duck. It was just instinct. I saw trouble and just knew I had to help. <laughs> Perhaps the Great Western could learn a thing or two from the Oliver way. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but, uh... Well, I must be getting to sleep. <gasps> I got a busy day tomorrow and I can't disappoint the back controller. What was that? Someone's getting a wee bit too big for his wheels. That's a wee bit ironic since he's kind of small. You both great Weston. Maybe you could talk to him. But I've never seen him so conceited before. Who knows if he'd even listen to me. Well, you better do something. I will not go without my turntable again. I'll, uh, I'll speak to Toad tomorrow before my first train. Maybe he'll have a suggestion. Whatever it is, we need to do it soon, or it'll be trouble we Oliver will be finding himself in. Big trouble. <sighs> but the next morning, Douglas found Toad wasn't going to be much help either. Oh, I wish I could help Mr. Douglas, but he's not listening to me either. He got one comment from the Fat Controller, and suddenly it all went to his smoke box. Oh, I, I don't know what to suggest. Oh, there has to be. Morning, Toad. Oh, hello, Douglas. You best hurry. You don't want to be late for your passengers. I don't even need to collect my coaches for another five minutes. Just thought I'd let you know. The Fat Controller did say I know best after all. That's not even why he said... Oh. Come on, Toad, we have trucks to collect. Oh, oh, uh, yes, Mr. Oliver. Bye, Mr. Douglas. Good luck! <laughs> I won't need it. Oh, Oliver, I'm glad I caught you. Is something wrong, Duck? My driver just got word that there's a storm coming. And it's going to be a strong one, so you might want to take extra care on your run. If it rains too hard, the line might be flooded, or even worse. I do know how to travel in the rain, Duck. I was only passing on a warning. Remember, there are two ways of doing things, Oliver. The Great Western Way and- The wrong way. Yeah, yeah. I really don't need to be told how to do things, Doc. The Fat Controller told me I know best and I'm- Being very full of yourself? Me? I'm being full of myself. You're the one who has to remind everyone of the Great Western Way wherever they go. Have you ever thought that maybe other engines might know what they're doing without you telling them? Besides, I don't really need to be told how to work in the rain by someone who got stuck in a flood himself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be off. Duck's warning had been right. Soon, a strong storm was sweeping across the island. However, 
Oliver didn't take much notice. Who this dog think he is? Telling me I'm being full of myself. Excuse me, Mr. Great Western, if I'm a little proud I help stop a runaway train. Well, you have been talking about it a bit much, Mr. Oliver. If you forgive me for mentioning it. Well, dude, it's just that... Oh, come on, Toby. Can we hurry along a bit? Important train here. Sorry, Oliver. I'm just taking extra care in this weather. Uh, points, points, yes. Uh... <laughs> oh, I. Uh... Can't be late. Ooh. Be careful, Oliver. Oh, uh, Mr. Oliver, I don't think we're supposed to be on the express line. Don't worry, Toad, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> We should move back onto the other line now. I will, Toad, I will. Just enjoy the ride. Imagine what the fat controller would say if we're early. Uh, that's great, Mr. Oliver, but, um, forgive me for saying, but isn't the express line only meant to be used for... <gasps> the express! Quick, Mr. Oliver! Oh, switch tracks! Oh! Uh, uh, I can't. What do you mean you can't? There's no points! Express coming through! Points! Quickly! Oh! What? Oh no! Silly little engine, stay off my line! Oliver, please slow down now. Oh, I can't. I can't. Hold on, Toad. Uh. Ow. <laughs> oh. That could have been a little smoother. Oh dear. What are we going to do? Oh. The fat controller is going to be so disappointed in me. Um, Mr. Oliver? No, he won't be. I'm going to find a way out of here. Mr. Oliver? After all, even he said I know best, so I should- Mr. Oliver, will you please stop? The whole you knowing best thing is what got us into this situation in the first place. If you weren't being all so full of yourself and actually listened, none of this would have happened. I, uh... I... The next word you should be saying is sorry. Mr. Duck warned you about working in a storm, and I warned you about being on the express line. But all you did was ignore us because you knew best. Well, you didn't. Toad, I... I'm so sorry. You're right. You all were. I was being a bit too big for my buffers. I see that now. It's just... It was just so nice to receive some praise for once, instead of just being thought of as the engine that brings trouble wherever he goes. It felt good to be known for something positive for a change, I just wanted to enjoy it for a bit. You can enjoy it, Mr. Oliver, but taking that over someone else's advice isn't how you do it. And I was so rude to talk as well. <sighs> oh, what have I done? <laughs> Not your best. <laughs> oh. How are we going to get out of here? Oh. Oh, Mr. Toby! Mr. Toby! Oh 
dear. He can't hear me. Quick, Mr. Oliver, blow your whistle. I would, Toad, but my fire has gone out. I don't think I have much steam left. Oh, please, Mr. Oliver, just try. <sighs> what was that? It sounded like Oliver. Toby! Oh. Oh, Mr. Toby. Oh, thank goodness. What's happened here? It's, uh, a bit of a long story. Would you mind going to fetch help, please? Oh, yes! <laughs> sure thing. Well, well, well. Oh, Mr. Duck, you came. Hello, Toad. So what do we have here, then? Uh, what do you mean? It's Mr. Oliver. Well, he looks a bit like Oliver, but Oliver knows better than an engine who got stuck in a flood, so he would never do it himself. I'm very sorry I was so rude to you, Duck. I should have never said all those things to you. You were right. <laughs> it's all right, Oliver. I take it you learned your lesson then? <laughs> yes, I certainly have. Well, I'm glad. I am, however, very disappointed in you, Oliver. You should know not to go so fast in a storm. And using the express line, very dangerous. Once you're repaired, you'll be shunting in the yard for the next week. I'm sure one of the shunters would love a change of scenery. Yes, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. Hey, cheer up a bit. At least you're just shunting. You know you're one of the best engines at that. Believe me, I've had enough of being the best for one day. <laughs> <laughs> No! 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 Oh, oh, oh.